Thank you for tuning in and welcome to Aaron Painting. Today I'm painting up Erica Smith, female blacksmith from the Dungledorf miniature line by King Games. And I've undercoated her with Wraithbone spray because I want to use a lot of contrast paints to get her quickly tabletop ready. As I want to use her as an NPC in my uh, dungeon crawling campaign. So without further ado, let's get some color on her. Starting with her skin, I'm going with Gilliman Flesh. Next up, her shirt, and for that I'm going to use Basilicanum Grey. Next up, I'm gonna paint her pants with snakebite leather. Next up, her apron and gloves with Psycho Psycho Brown. I've just decided that I want the wrapping on the hammer shaft and her bandana to be snake bite leather as well. So I'm going back to yeah, snake bite leather. Next up I'm gonna paint her hair, her belts, uh, the straps on the apron and the shaft of the hammer with wild wood. Now I want to take some Black Templar and paint in her boots and everything I want to be metallic in a moment. And that's pretty much as far as we can go with contrast paint, paint I think. Um, before adding metallics, I want to take some uh, mechanical standard grey and paint in the cobblestones on the base. Uh, those were made simply with some milliput and a sculpting tool. I know I promised to make a tutorial on how to do that, uh, but I've been every week I have a new idea, and and it's been moved back in the queue several times. So. Uh, yeah, any day now. Next up, some gunmetal from Vallejo Game Color. And this is for everything metallic, obviously. So, uh, yeah, the stuff on her leg, her knee pads, the tools in her front pocket, and the hammerhead. While waiting for the metallics to completely dry, I'm just gonna quickly pick out her eyes with Minot White Highlight. And while I'm at it, I might as well take some uh, model color black from Vallejo and dot in uh, the pupils. 
now that the gray on the base and the metallics has dried, we're gonna take some null oil and wash the base and all the metallic parts. Now that the wash has dried, I'm gonna take some. Whoop. Whoop. Seven of stone and dry brush the cobblestones. And finally, we're going back to model color black, and this is for the base rim. And she's done. I'm really happy with her. That was uh, quick. Uh, I originally planned to uh, layer up on top of the contrast paint, but um, well, yeah. I'm happy with her as she is now, so I'll, uh, I won't do that. Um, in general, these Dunkledorf miniatures are a joy to paint. Um, I can wholeheartedly recommend them, um, especially for uh, fantasy NPCs. Uh, I use them in, uh, in a campaign I'm running that I've been mentioning in yeah, a lot of videos recently. Uh, so I've uh, given them new backstories, but kept most of the names. Um, but if you go to King Games uh, and look them up, they will come with their own backstory and stuff, which is rather cool. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun painting her. And uh, till next time, take care and bye-bye.